Hey boys and girls, in this video we're going to be looking at in marks or in punctuation. Uh, in punctuation is we have three types. You have a period, an exclamation mark, and a question mark. So let's talk about what these marks mean and when will we use them in our writings. So the period we would use when we were just making a statement, when you're just saying, I like the color blue, um, the sky is pretty. So when you're just making a direct statement, that is when you would use a period. You would also use it when you're making a command as go get me the towel or go get me a mop. You would use a period. The next one we're going to look at is the exclamation mark. When you use an exclamation mark, your voice goes a little higher. You get excited. You're not just making a statement. You're saying, oh, no. Your voice goes up because you're not going to say, oh, no. You're going to say, oh, no. Um, watch out. Okay, that's when you're going to use an exclamation mark. Okay, your voice kind of gets excited. Okay, and the last one, the question mark. A question mark is used when... You ask a question like, would you like to go to the store? That beginning of that, would you, is a question. So you would use the question mark. Do you want to go to the store? Again, that is a question. So let's look at some examples and let's work through them together, okay? So let's look at this one first. This is an exclamation mark. So it says, wait. There is glass on the floor. If there's glass on the floor, I'm not going to tell you, oh, wait, hold on. There's glass. I'm going, I don't want you to step on that glass. So I'm like, wait, there's glass on the floor. And so that is why it has the exclamation mark. Because we're in a hurry to tell you to not step on that glass. Okay, let's look at this next one. This has a period. I like donuts. I'm not getting excited about it. I'm not asking, do you like donuts? I'm just saying, I like donuts. It's a, just a direct statement that I'm making. So that is why we end it in a period. And this one is a question mark. Let's look at it. Do you like lions or giraffes? So I'm asking you a question. And you have to choose. Do you like lions? Or do you like giraffes? Okay, and so that's why it has a question mark. Um, so what we're going to do is now I'm going to show you three sentences. And we're going to determine what are they. Are they a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark? What is needed at the end? So let's look at the first one. The first one says, Oh no, I dropped my hamburger. So in this sentence, would it need a period, a question mark, an exclamation mark? Which one would this need? Oh no, I dropped my hamburger. It's not a question. I'm not asking you, do you like a hamburger? And when I say, oh no, I get excited. Oh no. So this, if you said exclamation mark, you are correct. Okay. Would you like to go see a polar bear? Would you like to go see a polar bear? So in this sentence, is it a question mark, an exclamation mark, or a period? Take a minute and think about that. It's not a period because it's not a direct statement. It's not saying, I like polar bears. It's also not an exclamation mark because it's like, oh, look, a polar bear. So this is a question mark because it's asking you, do you like, would you like to go see the polar bear? So it's a question. Let's look at the last one. The polar bear is white. Okay? The polar bear is white. 
Does this need a question mark, an exclamation mark, or a period? What do you think? I'm not asking, do you think the polar bear is white? I'm not getting excited. Oh, the polar bear is white. This is just a direct statement, so it needs a period. Because I'm saying the polar bear is white. This is a fact. So it is a direct statement. So remember, guys. When you're looking at M marks and you're trying to decide, do I need a question mark, an exclamation mark, or a period, remember, the period is used when you just need a, you're making a direct statement or you're um, telling somebody to do something. An exclamation mark is used when you're excited, when you don't want, like, the glass on the floor. You didn't want them to step on that. So when your voice gets excited, that's when you use the exclamation mark. In the last one, the question mark. Remember, the question mark is used when you're asking somebody a question. Thank you, boys and girls.